Jamaica is a place full of art, music, culture and beautiful people. Automobile paid a short visit to Jamaica to document and explore some new artwork. We also gift a celebrity with an exclusive art gift. I hope you guys enjoy. We just landed in Jamaica and now we're grabbing a quick bite to eat. Sweet. Yeah, happy with your happy with your meal, yeah? Happy with what's my job? I mean, I mean, yeah, paradise and fries, you know what I'm saying? Hiya guys, as you can see we're driving down now, we're, driving, we're heading towards downtown towards some art murals. So obviously uh, my artist was able to catch his flight, his flight was late so we got here a day or two late, but he's here now in the head, so everything worked out. My friend here, Andrew, nine of us, as you know I've been working with him for a while. So now, uh, we're going to have a look at these art murals have a chat with Andrew about the art, see if there's anything interesting there, any nice pieces, and see if we get any inspiration for our project as well. So, yeah man, good looking man, see you there soon. Yes guys, we're here at the Wall of Honour, across from the Jamaica National Stadium. As you can see by the quality, these pictures have been there for a long time. It shows you that these people were public figures in society, so these pictures and their faces are important to the people of Jamaica. Their names and deeds shall never be forgotten, signed the people of Jamaica. I wanted to highlight Dion Hemmings as Jamaica's first ever female gold medalist runner. Absolutely neck and neck and Hemmings, is she strong enough to take this Olympic title? Hemmings and Batten and these three, and Hemmings is going to do it! Hemmings wins it, she's the champion! And she got the reward she truly deserved. Seventh in the last Olympic final, now she is the champion. And the other statistic, she is the first Jamaican woman ever to win an Olympic title. Brilliant. Jamaica's first ever. George Roden was the first double gold medalist runner in the 1952 Olympics. Hey. Hey. Andrew, what do you think of these art murals? It would be really good to see them when they were fresh. Hey. Maybe they could be restored and preserved for future generations to enjoy. I wonder who the artist is. They're really, truly amazing. On our journey, we came across some beautiful art murals of some Jamaican icons. We visited some beautiful art murals in Kingston. This address is located at 41 Fleet Street, downtown Kingston, in case you'd like to visit it to see some nice art. These masterpieces were created by artists from all over the world. This is part of a community organisation called Life Yard. We're just here at Fleet Street and have a look at some more street murals and some more street art. And this one really caught my eye and this one really interesting. When I first saw it with the, the um, line, it just made me think and just realise it's, it's, it's one of them ones where don't worry about your object, how big it is or how big the issue is. You may always still win with uh, skill, intellect and intelligence, so just bear that in mind, guys. Another interesting mural that I saw was this one here, and when I looked at it, I thought of um, nurturing. I noticed that there's a book on top, and um, it's a lady, young lady, young guy, and um, 
it just reminds me of nurturing that growth, planting a seed. So I'm going to let Andrew speak a bit more on this one and tell you what he thinks and what he feels when he gets this picture. Yeah, I, I agree with you with that. And it's um, showing the youth is our future. You know, the youth is that plant growing. And we are more know, right in the history. Right now, our history we created. The history that came before us was written by somebody else. So let's, let's rewrite that, you know, and I like it in the end page to show the youth that, you know, you can be after a nice lunch by the sea, me and the team took a trip down to the High Coat Art and Framing Gallery. We were quite excited as we've heard good things about this place. Haiku Art and Framing Gallery is an amazing art shop that houses artwork created exclusively by Jamaican artists. Here we have two icons in their own right. On the left we have Nelson Mandela, the former president of South Africa. And on the right we have Vibe Cartel, the king of the Jamaican music genre, dancehall. We found some really nice art and inspiration on this project. Now we're just about to head over to Popcorn's Music Festival to gift them with an art piece created by the man himself, Andrew Wright, Mr. 90 Arts. And we're here now, live at the Unruly Festival. And Sorry. as you can see, I've got the art gift here for Popcorn. And this one's crazy, this one's mad, this one's special. You can see this one, limited edition, exclusive, it's mad. Um, this one come from um, Hackney E5 Square. Yeah, Andrew. No, where did, where did yeah. the picture from? Oh, the picture um, was from um, a European festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. European festival still. Yeah. See it there? Oh, I Oh, I see it there. Oh, I see it there. Oh, I see it there. Oh, I see Reggae artists to sell out Wembley, you know? Hey there, so we're just here now and Andrew the artist has been able to hand popcorn um, the piece personally in the studio and um, I think he's found that a quite interesting experience and he wants to tell you a bit more about that. Obviously it's late at night so that's why we're not like um, doing no photo shoot or any interview recording at the moment so I'll put you over to Andrew. Yeah that was an excellent experience I must admit, um, yeah privileged to come into the you know pop, pop popcorn's home and studio presenting a piece in front of his friends you know and it, for him to say yes you know that's the best piece so far that he's seen of himself you know that he has so i was very honored and it's been a great experience to be in jamaica to do such such a thing so we're making history 
you know, Art Pod, you know, Nino Arts, you know, King Speeds, Commission, Automobile, Depot they Move, you know. Er, respect. So as you can see, it seems like Andrew's had a good experience by handing him the piece and that's all good. Yeah. Popcorn likes it and yeah man. Yeah man.